the Queen appears to have incorporated the ice-breaking techniques learned through years of conducting official engagements alongside Prince Philip, royal commentators have noted. Her Majesty had G7 leaders in stitches as she questioned whether they should look like you're enjoying yourself as they took pictures during their recent meeting in Cornwall. And she left guests of a lunch hosted by educational charity Eden Project stunned as she proceeded to cut a cake with a sword instead of the knife offered to her. Speaking to Mail Plus, royal commentator Richard Eden said, I do wonder if she does feel a need now to step into the breach left by Prince Philip. Although he hadnt been on official events for years, I think ingrained in her was letting him make those kinds of jokes. Fellow expert Charlotte Griffiths agreed as she suggested the Queen had shown her rather Prince Philip-esque side during her last round of engagements. Ms. Griffiths said, Prince Philip's humour, for decades, will have rubbed off on her. And now Shusha's sort of doing it alone and cracking those jokes. With the cake thing, she actually told somebody off. Somebody tried to get her a real knife and she said, no, I can be asterisk 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 dy well do it, with this sword. And she really gave her ticking off. It was very Prince Philip-esque and it was actually really nice to see. The Queen resumed her duties at the end of April after two weeks of mourning following the deaths of Prince Philip on April 9. Her first in-person outing was at the end of May, when she visited aircraft on board of HMS Queen Elizabeth in Portsmouth before the carrier launched on its first operational deployment. During the engagement, Her Majesty donned a special brooch Prince Philip had presented her in 1966 and which she had worn on several occasions when attending public events together with the Duke. And last week the Queen made her return to the racecourse as she attended Ascot for the first time in two years to cheer on four of the horses running in her colours of purple and gold. Sophie, the Countess of Wessex admitted Prince Philip had left a giant-sized hole in the life of royal family members. Speaking to the BBC, Sophie said, I think the whole grieving process is probably likely for us to take a lot longer. Of course, the normal way of things isnt normal yet, so we're not necessarily doing the things that we would normally have done with him, it may be the same for many other families out there. Because if you're not living with somebody, 24-7, the immediate loss isnt necessarily felt in the same way as if somebody was in the house with you all the time. So if they were normally at a slight distance, living down the road, whether it be 15 minutes, or 1,500 miles, it's only when you would do the normal things that you would have done with them, and you suddenly realize that they are not there, that you really start to have an oh my goodness moment.